Fiora. How are y'all doing? Today we have a World of Warships replay, but you might notice something about this particular replay. It's 7v7! So a friend of mine here, Brains, sounds like a zombie, has decided to send me a ranked battle in his Congo battleship. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's up for you to really decide, but I think it's pretty good. Basically, advising to kick the enemy destroyer if they see him first. There's no carriers. We only have one destroyer on the enemy team, so the enemy team only has one real scout slash torpedo threat. But I say that, and then I look here and go, Cleveland, Omaha, Kaisenberg, Kaisenberg. Yeah, they've got a couple more torpedo threats than just that one little destroyer. As three of their cruisers also possess torpedoes. However, enemy team is blessed with two New Yorks while they have the variety on Brains' team. As you can see, they have two different battleships none of the same cruiser and of course they get two destroyers so he has a he has a bit more balanced team in his favor and you have to remember ranked battles are competitive battles in world of warships this is as close as you're going to get right now to fleet wars or clan wars or tournaments for world of warships it is assumed that if you join ranked battles and there and are at least you know rank 20 to 18 you're competent because that's the only way you could get that high because when you lose a rank battle you go down and when you win a rank battle you go up and oh my god he just knocked the holy bejesus out of a poor omaha this is why you don't turn broadside to battleships okay people they tend to hurt and that omaha is already gone wow what a way to start the game for the enemy team. Already lost a cruiser. And I do believe a Cleveland might be about to get the wrath of God slammed on it as well. One hit. Three hits. Eh, only 8,000. But 8,000 off of Cleveland is still about a quarter of his hit points. Holy crap. He has such a good day either. As uh, Brains gets ready for his next volley of death and destruction. Let's watch this Cleveland's hit points. One hit for a thousand. A couple more hits for five more grand. Okay, that Cleveland has got to be taking the hint now. I would be turning away and running. But nope, he's still sailing in perfectly straight lines. Like he's invulnerable or something. Up, oh, look like he bit the dust. This is a shooting gallery. I thought ranked battles were supposed to have competent people in them. This is a shooting gallery, sir. Oh. And now he's starting. He, he's taking the lead in his battleship. Oh! Oh! There's a 10k hit. And he is taking a pounding for his cruiser friends while they try to claim the B point. Which is what you should be doing in a ranked battle, Mr. Y New York classes who are sitting in the very back while your cruisers get pummeled. And that cruiser just bit the dust as well! My oh my. My oh my. He's just letting it burn. He's not worried about the fire. I wouldn't be terribly worried about it either. To be quite honest. Is that... New York sitting perfectly still. Are you seriously just sitting still? Letting people fire at you. There are torpedoes coming right at you right now. Surely you suspect that. That is a German cruiser who just unleashed at you and a destroyer who... Oh, that's a 
destroyer who just drove by. Surely you realize that those are torpedoes coming at you. Has he started moving yet? No? Okay, yeah, he's underway now. But he's just been taking a pounding. And not really delivering one back. He's broadside on to a Congo. And he's not even up to speed yet. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I give you World of Warships Ranked Battles! Help. I put too much faith in humanity sometimes. This is one of those times. Now even Brains has slowed down here. Because he's realized that neither of the New Yorks are actually targeting him. Nobody's actually shooting at him. And that New York is barely avoiding those torpedoes. And since no one is shooting at him, he figures he may as well... Ooh, he got the high caliber award. And... There's another little tag. It's not doing much, but it's doing enough. He's realized his cruiser friend has sailed out and is sacrificing himself basically for the team. While Brains just keeps shelling away at this enemy battleship. And no one has challenged him over it. The enemy destroyer apparently sailed so far away from his fleet, he just appeared in Hotel 7 on the map, that he hasn't been involved in any of the fighting the entire time. The one guy who could be spotting and potentially forcing brains to move because of torpedoes in the water is nowhere to be found and I think the enemy cruiser just torpedoed at his own battleship because those nearly hit brains is tempted to keep firing on the battleship but he knows that the cruiser is an easier target so he unleashes a volley at the cruiser. And then the other volley at the battleship. Ooh, he hit the battleship harder than the cruiser. He just earned a confederate. Nice. That enemy uh, battleship just went down. All that work is paying off. But now it's getting down to the wire. They've actually lost three of their teammates. Apparently that destroyer is very lethal. As Brain sinks a cruiser with a citadel penetration for turning broadside to him. And is in the process. Oh my god, another citadel! That poor battle boat. As the cruiser's torpedoes hopelessly miss. He's been constantly adjusting his course. I can't argue with this! Oh god, it's gonna do nothing. Light damage, sir. I shall return the favor. So much dishonor for broadside into me battleship. You sink in Davy Jones locker. Oh, but what's this? I think a cruiser might be going through a torpedo field. Oh, he does it. He successfully navigates a torpedo field. As Brains has handed out all of this dishonor to the enemy, and they literally have one second till a cap out occurs. One second. That's it. That's the end of that battle. With all of the ye booty be mine, let us go take a look at the final statistics. Alright then, so final stats here. We have 40 shots fired, 1 incapacitation, 5 citadel penetrations, damn, that's a lot of ouch, and 2 ships sunk. Came in top place on his team. This ranked battle was a ranked blowout. Well, not really. They only have 4, they did lose half of their fleet, but uh, it's got to be painful for that destroyer who proved himself lethal and then just, nope, the rest of his team was... Derp. It also doesn't help him that 
this one Congo, who no one hardly fired at, did three times its HP in damage with armor-piercing shells. No fire, no secondary battery, no torpedoes, no flooding, just pure armor-piercing shell. Ow. Ow. He only received 16,000, oh, 17,000 damage. whoop de doo He delivered a lot more than that and he repaired most of the damage he received he walks out of here with a 276,000 credits and 8800 XP with 141 free XP not a bad haul great job there brains great job so that's what it's like to play a ranked battle in World of Warships it's not guaranteed to be good teammates it's really not I'm sorry to say that while you might get competent teammates you're still gonna have to play with the stupids as much as they advertise ranked battles as you know playing with competent players sorry truth of the matter is not really if you did like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more stuff up here, subscribe already! If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so through Patreon or click on the ad at the end of the video. Either one of these things is fine. The Patreon page basically means you, you offer to donate a dollar every month. The ad at the end of the channel, Corporate America pays for your entertainment. In the meantime, uh, here's the previous World of Warship video. It's been a while. And if you'd like to see it, you can click right there. Remember, guys, hit like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, everybody! Pen. I'm not sure, but I think it was. It's down to Charlie and an enemy Wyoming at 5 kilometers with 12-inch guns. Go! Oh my god, yes! He just got the Confederate Award and scored another Citadel penetration. Oh god. Ugh. Uh, he's, but the enemy Wyoming is stopped in the water. Why is he stopped in the water broadside?